we might see reporting from China that electricity generation from coal and gas is down year on year. That production of oil power vehicles in China fell 10% year on year. We might see that EVs make up to 52% of vehicles manufactured in China this year and nearly 50% of all vehicles sold being electric. We might see that solar cell production is up 10% year on year or that 2025 is predicted to improve on 2024's record of 360 gigawatts of wind and solar additions. We might see that prediction, predictions that total Chinese CO2 emissions won't rise this year but remain flat for the second year in a row. We might ask, have they peaked emissions? We might look at the sales of electric vehicles in the UK, over 25% of new car sales in three of the last four months, nearly 23% for the whole year, which means a whopping 426,000 new electric vehicles on the road this year, and nearly 100,000 electric vans on the road. And further afield around the world, EVs have made up 25% of new car sales in 2025. 39 countries have got EV sales of more than 10% of the total, and it seems that adoption of battery electric vehicles is growing and growing in momentum. For the UK, we're still five years out of a fossil fuel car ban for new cars sold here. 